ni imani ambayo imekita mizizi katika akili za watu wengi ya kwamba sehemu ya mwanamke ni jikoni na leo hii ikiwa ni siku ya maadhimisho ya siku ya wanawake kote duniani basi hapa kikaoni ni naye mwanamke ambaye atutakuwa tunapiga gumzo naye akiwa ni mwanamke ambaye ametia jitihada katika kuleta mabadiliko katika jamii yetu lakini kabla hatujaanza kusemeza na naye nipate kuwakumbusha kama ilivyo ada yangu mzidi kutufuatilia pale katika mitandao yetu ya kijamii pale kwenye Facebook at elisamo underscore tv1 kwenye tura at elisamo underscore etv na pia kwenye instagram elisamo underscore etv na kwa sasa hebu kwanza tuanze mazungumzo yetu rasmi kwa kumkaribisha mgeni wetu na mkaribu tueleze unaitwa nani uh, naitwa pastor alice the yuri uh, mimi ni mkawaji wa nyeri and i, I was born in nyeri and i, I stay in nyeri yeah Yeah. Na Pastor Alice nimekualika hapa kikaoni ili tupate kuzungumza mengi zaidi kwa kuwa leo ni siku uh, ya kusherekea wanawake wetu kote duniani na kwanza ningependa upate kueleza watazamaji wetu uh, ni nini ama ni mambo yapi ambayo huwa najishughulisha nayo uh, haswa katika jamii. Uh, yale mambo ambayo najihusisha nayo katika nchi yetu ama ka, katika kaunti yetu ni it is about helping an orphan and uh, and i started helping the orphans since 2006 and uh, uh, the the, pap the purpose of doing that it was because i i was an orphan mm -hmm. and uh, and i i know the pain and, and the struggle of an orphan mm -hmm. so i concentrated with helping the orphans since 2006 mm -hmm. until until today mm -hmm. so uh, later on uh, i was uh, i was uh, a widow So from the time that I became a, a widow, a, a widow, I also started now carrying the burdens and the pains of uh, of the, the widow, because now I know the pain of an orphan. I know what they go through. They go a lot of uh, rejection. They go they go a lot of uh, struggle. So I I I also took another step and I and I and I started helping now the the widows yeah just here in Nyeri mm -hmm. but for the orphans I have gone I have visited uh, 20 20 homes mm -hmm. in Nyeri mm -hmm. uh, in Meru mm -hmm. in Muranga Muranga Udaya even in Nyeri mm -hmm. so so I have touched so many orphans mm -hmm in our county and out of our county okay. but for the widows I've, I've started in Nyeri mm -hmm. but I know in the future I'll be able God willing because this is uh, this is totally a calling from God mm -hmm. and uh, at the end of it all it is for God's glory mm -hmm. and I know at the end of it it all with the help of uh, the community and the partners and uh, above all the heart of God mm -hmm. I know that we shall all of us as Kenyans we shall touch and we shall shade and we shall wipe the 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 tears that the widows are, are, are shedding because wherever they are they are just there they are just there they have nobody to take care for them even the the orphans they are just there it is not easy for them but for the grace of god what i know and i believe together we will make it yeah Naam, uh, Pastor Alice manake umetueleza kwamba uh, ulianza hii shughuli mnamo mwaka wa 2006 uh, kwa kuwa mwanzo umesema kwamba wewe ulikuwa ni, mto, uh, ni mtoto wa yatima ama wewe uh, ni mtoto ambaye umekuwa kama hauja wazazi wako hawako. Naam, unaweza ukatueleza tu kwa ufupi maisha kwa wakati huo yalikuwa vipi? Uh, uh, the, 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 um, it was no I can, it was not easy but uh, but um, it is only my my mother who passed on before and uh, and uh, later <laughs> later on my mother passed away so the time that uh, my mother passed on it was it was it was not easy because i am the second born but for girls i am the the, the first i can call myself the first for uh, I am the second born. I am the I, I am the big girl in that family. So the the responsibility I had it is about now sitting in that in that chair of my mother. And it is something that I I was not prepared at any time that I can be like the head of that of, of that family. So it was taking uh, it, it took a lot of uh, grace but I could not understand myself. I even at now I don't know how I did it. But uh, but the the big challenge that I got 
that time it was about preparing my our, my my siblings to go to school. Uh, I went to a day school so that I can I, I can come back early so that they can get me at home. So I go, I raised them when I was I was just young. But the the bad part of it is just when my my father now passed on because the time that he was alive we could uh, we could we were working together we could could co work together with my father we could ag agree my father loved me so much that one I know even at now that he loved me so much mm -hmm. And uh, he gave me that responsibility always to be there for our siblings. Mm -hmm. So from that time, I, 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 the, when I grew up, I, I, one day I said that I shall study as a, I, I called myself uh, the voice of the voiceless. And, uh, and when I got, a, I, I got a job, I told God, this is the best time now to start working uh, the, 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 the groundwork to see what I can do for, for orphan. Yeah. Mm. Haya, naam Pastor Alice baada ya hayo yote ambayo umepitia sasa imekuwa wewe ndio umechukua nafasi ya kuwa mama uh, mama ya wale ambao umezaliwa na wao umekuwa kama mlezi wao. Uh, Ningependa upata kutueleza uh, je kazi ambayo ulikuwa unaifanya ndio ilikuwa inashughulikia ama mapato ambayo ulikuwa unayapata ndio yalikuwa inashughulikia uh, kila jambo la wale ambao umezaliwa na wao. Uh, it was uh, God's grace that I, I never I never struggled to go, to look for a job. Uh, it was God's grace, and sometimes I think it is uh, it was God's time to pay me back because I just I was just there. I, I, I never went to school well because uh, because of those challenges, and uh, and uh, at that level I I got married when I was too young. The same time I got a job, so I never struggled because at the time that I got married I went to Mombasa, and my my in laws uh, got me a job, so I didn't struggle. I didn't even know how to. Learn to sign the forms to look for a job so i still thank god even this day because uh, because that job that i i, I started i, I was uh, i was paid uh, uh, very little money you saw it, i was working in the government and at the time that uh, that i i got the first salary can you imagine i i, I refused to to go back to work because because i was paid 264 after waiting for for three months, so the time that I got that salary, the the the, the issue for my dropping was because I I saw now I, I will not be able to help my family at home. I come from Mudaya, uh, the place called uh, Kanyange, mm -hmm. and I I thought now the 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 two two sixty four could not be able to help my 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 siblings. But uh, but somebody came and told me that Alice, the salary you co you continue earning more salary as you as you grow in the ministry. So I had to go back and I stayed at home for two for two weeks. So I, I thank God for for that person who helped. Me. He was like my mentor and uh, he was my boss where I got a job, and uh, that is where I worked until I retired. So I totally agree that uh, the work that God gave me in that organization, it was uh, I, I was able to to help myself, my family, and the the siblings that God has given me to to raise up. Yeah. Yeah. Na mkando na kusema kwamba ulikuwa unawashughulikia ama unawashughulikia wale matoto, uh, watoto mayatima mm. uh, nikipenda upata kutueleza pia ulikuwa umetaja kwamba uh, huu unawashughulikia wale wanawake ambao ni wajane wale ambao walifiwa au waliachwa na mabwana zao mm. uh, nikipenda upata kutueleza ni nini ambacho kilikusukuma ukamua sasa bado pia nitakuwa na washughulikia wale wajane uh, about uh, about um about being a, a, an orphan and being an, 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 a widow, I never thought. Uh, I never thought one time that I could be an orphan and be uh, a widow. So the the time that uh, my f my husband passed on in Mobasa, I sometimes I could not agree that uh, that I am a, an orphan and a, a widow. That was the biggest problem that I had, but uh, when uh, when uh, when God, it, this is totally about God, and I and I totally thank God because God has walked with me in those challenges, in ups and downs, 
and uh, and that is why the time that God healed my heart because it is about God working in my heart upside down because when God call, called me he told me that the assignments that he is giving me they are not easy and when God says they are not easy I know they are not easy but what I believed is that he will be with me and he has been with me has walked with me he has fought so many battles for me so the time that I he touched and healed my heart that is now the time that I started now looking for the widows and I started now the time of the time of COVID. <clears throat> that is the time that I I started now preparing to face it. Often the the widows, and uh, we, da, we 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 did a pro a program. We we helped uh, that uh, six widows at uh, at uh, Gitadine, and it was it was a success. So right now, after that one, I I I started another program with the uh, widows at Ishania. And I, I opened my house. I and the purpose, why the purpose of opening a ha my house to bring the the widows. I wanted. I just wanted them to know that we have a God. I want. I, I wanted them to understand that uh, that uh, regardless uh, of us being widows and uh, and sometimes when you know we are rejected by by the community. We are rejected by by the inroads. They throw you out. So I wanted to tell them that there is still hope that our God. Our God is uh, their husband because He has been my husband, and uh, and uh, the God, God will be their husband. So from that time, I started now visiting the the widows at Shania, and uh, from that time, they normally come to the office to get food and uh, food and uh, encourage. I, I I also encourage them, mentor them, and I give them uh, clothes for them to to go home with. Yeah. Na Pastor Alice Kando na kuwasaidia haswa hawa wajane na kwa kuwapa vyakula, mavazi. Uh, kuna namna ingine ambayo huo unawasaidia haswa ikifika ni mambo na ushauri kwa sababu wakati ambapo mwanamke amekuwa mjane basi nakuwa ni hali ambayo inamuadhiri sana na haswa kiakili. Je, unawasaidia vingine? Mm. Uh, the, 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 it, uh, it is still early but it is not little early for God. Because there's something that I that I believe that uh, that God's time is always the best, and and His time. There's some there are first that makes me very happy. That at His time He makes things beautiful. This is my beautiful day. He made it beautiful for me. So because God has worked with me, it is it is my responsibility now to give what God give gave me for me to for my heart. To, to to be healed you see because you can, there's nothing that is important and uh, unless you you counsel you mentor them and you give them hope because what they miss it is hope they need people to start with so what i am planning to do in the future i i i am planning now to to call all of them because there are so many in Yeri, so that i i can have a, a i can i can have a seminar so that i, I can uh, get somebody to do them Kansori. Yeah. Na mshukra ni sana Pastor Alice kwa jinsi ambavyo tunaendelea kuzungumza mambo mawili matatu mm -hmm. uh, haswa leo ikiwa ni siku kubwa sana siku ya kuwasherehekea uh, wanawake kote duniani mm -hmm. na mtazamaji anachukua mapumziko mafupi lakini nitakuwa narejea baada ya mdosu kwa mrefu uh, lakini kabla sijaondoka kama ilivyo ada yangu ni kwa kumbusha mzidi kutufuatilia uh, pale katika mitandao yetu ya kijamii pale kwenye Facebook at elisamo underscore etv1 kwenye Twitter at elisamo underscore etv na pia kwenye Instagram Elisamo underscore ETV, usiondoke.
Naam karibu tena mpenzi mtazamaji wa runinga ya Elisamo na bado tungali tunaendelea na mazungumzo yetu naye Pastor Alice ah, haswa leo ikiwa ni siku kubwa sana ambapo tunasherehekea ah, siku ya wanawake kote duniani lakini kabla hatujaanza mazungumzo tena ah, iwapo ungependa kusemeza na nasi kumbuka unaweza ukatufuatilia ah, pale katika mitandao yetu ya kijamii pale kwenye Facebook at Elisamo underscore etv one kwenye Twitter at Elisamo underscore etv na kwenye Instagram Elisamo underscore etv na kwa sasa hebu tureje katika mazungumzo yetu na mpasta Alice Uh, tunaendelea tu bado na mazungumzo yetu ningependa upata kutueleza uh, hawa wanawake wajane ambao huo na wasaidia huwa unaweza kuwakusanya vipi na ama utaweza kumtambua vipi huyu ni mwanamke mjane uh, ili upate kuwasaidia huwa unawatambua vipi uh, thank you so much for that question it is uh, it is uh, about uh, community I use the community and I also I use the 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 uh, the, she, the chief so I go through the chief's office because uh, it is the only person who can know and understand about about the the people that are have a problem or the the widows or the orphans so always anything that I do I go through the the chief yeah okay. yeah na mna pia kuna mtazamaji ambaye anajiuliza kwa kuwa huu unawasaidia wale watoto mayatima pia wanawake wajane uh, zile bidhaa uh, ambazo unawapatia kama ni nguo vyakula uh, huu unavitoa wapi ni donations ama inakuwa vipi thank you so much i have a, a very big network and i and i, I and i want to take this uh, opportunity first to congratulate every woman because this is a, this is our day that we know we should understand that we are great in the community even uh, international even nationally even locally we are because we carry the seed of god and i want to appreciate every lady there so what i do i have a, a lot of networking and i i want to take this uh, this opportunity to thank my my partners because they are they are my partners who have stood with me since 2006 and i want and i also want to thank Thank my colleagues so that where I was working even the time that I was in the office they stood with me even at now that I retired I'm retired but I'm not tired they still take my course they still help me so what I do there's a, the time that I I, I prepare every visit uh, I I just uh, I just call my partners and i tell them what what is needed maybe it is about the cruise it is about uh, it is about uh, the feeding so they give i normally tell them to bring a night instead of giving me money so the time that uh, god uh, talked to me uh, not taking money it has been very easy for me so the time that whatever i i get i have a room in my house it has a lot of clothes that is why i keep them so when i i get food i i i take some to the office because those the the, the street families now they because they know where our office is our office is at gakere road so they come to the office to collect food so when they come they, they they carry food they carry bananas they carry crows but what they need most it is about what they are going to eat so i i have partners i cannot do it alone but i don't have uh, i don't cooperate with the donors and I, i don't have any donor but i have partners in 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 nyeri and out of nyeri so every time that i am visiting children so i just call them and i tell them to do this this month we are visiting a certain home and uh, they need one two three so before i i face it i face it the home first so that they can uh, they write it down what they need so what they write i go back now i i i, we ha- I have a committee and that committee we sit down every month and we discuss what we are going to do and uh, in that uh, in that office it is i have for we have officials in that office so everybody knows what what he is supposed to do in the in the ministry like yesterday we had a meeting in the in the office because we are planning to have a, a fundraising in uh, in uh, in in the July because since covid came we have not done uh, we have not been able to pay school fees so the biggest challenge is about paying the fees so that is why i'm preparing a fundraising so that i can be able to to pick up where covid left because yeah because of that challenge of covid 
Yeah. Yeah. Na Pastor Alice kwa kuwa umesema kwamba uh, kwa wakati huu unajipanga uh, kutafuta jinsi ambavyo unaweza ukachangisha zile hela ili wapate ku, ili wapate karo ya kuwarudisha shule. Hapo mbele ni kabla ugonjwa wa COVID-19 haujafika uh, hela za ama uh, karo ya kuwasomesha wale watoto ilikuwa inatoka wapi? Um, as I said earlier, thank you for that question. It is, uh, it is all about God's grace because God has walked with me all along. Because the first time I started with the clothing and the second time God told me now start feeding. When I fed the, the, the orphans, God talked to me another time and I hear clearly, now start educating my children. So I totally do what God is saying, and I have never, I, I, I have never stopped asking God questions. What do you want me to do? He told me now take another initiative. It, by the way, it is like a promotion because we are not stagnated. So the time that you think about educating a person, this that is a future. So you are dealing with the mind. I started clothing, I dealt with the, the stomach, now it is about, about the, the, the mind and the brain. So uh, what we used to do, uh, that, that group that, that I have, we have a, a, a group of about 30 or 40 members. So we, we pray every month. So we use our own money until the time that we are facing a children's home. So when we are facing children's home, that is where my partners now come in. But the issue of paying the office and, uh, and paying the, the school fees, we do it ourselves. Yeah. But we don't give money. We, we pay and we give a shake to every child. Yeah. Yeah. Na pia Pastor Alice ningependa upate kutueleza uh, tangu wakati ambapo ulianzisha hizi shughuli za kujishughulisha kuwasaidia wale watoto mayatima uh, m- kufikia mahala ambapo tuko kwa sasa ni watoto kama wangapi hivi mayatima ambao umeweza kuwasaidia um, uh, thank you for that question uh, I cannot give exactly the number because uh, I have visited about 20 children's home and every student like, like last year last, uh, last year uh, 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 maybe in October we visited Nanyuki children's home that one had 150 150 children so it is it is very hard to know the number because if uh, like now we we visited uh, nanyuki the other day we visited uh, nema children's home they are my best nema is my best uh today they are 50 tomorrow they are less you can go and get more because it is about uh today Wanatoroka, no, no. You get there more. That sometimes you get there less. So it is very hard to give exact number of the the children that we have helped, because it is about it is it is it is it is totally very hard to know. Yeah, yeah. Haya naam na pia ningependa upate kutueleza kwa kuwa umeweza kutangamana na pia kutembea katika makao ya watoto mayatima the children's home uh, unaweza ukatuguzia tu ni changamoto kama zipi ambazo ziko katika makao ha, uh, katika makao ya watoto mayatima mm, Thank you for that uh, that one is a totally it is a, a very good question because the 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 more the most challenging issue it is about now uh encouraging the the orphans the, because they don't they, when they are taken there they don't know where they come from they don't have names they are given names in the homes mm-hmm. and uh that that issue of not knowing where you are com- coming from it is a total mental torture mm-hmm. so when i go to the to the children's home you you give all to them give you a shoulder you give them love because they lack love because so many people uh, uh, so many orphans they are they are corrected from the slums they are thrown there um, sometimes some called Alice come there there's a shout uh, somewhere and I go and I take the, the children to the children's home so the other the other challenge is uh, is about feeding Feeding, clothing is not an, an uh, it is an issue, but not see your carry, sana. Because babu what we sana they give clothes, sawa toto wao. But uh, but uh, but feeding it is not an a continuous system. So uh, 
what what is needed it is about assurance assuring that child that uh, feed, the, 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 their feeding it is continuous about their school fees there is continuity you see that is what they lack and that is why sometimes you, they, they are depressed they are stressed so it is about the feeding the other issue that i got that was very touching in my heart i did last year I, I did an initiative about uh, uh, assisting, assisting girls with the sanitary parts. So the time that I went to visit uh, Nema Children's Home, a girl called me and he told me, Shosho, well, they called me Shosho. And I thank God for that level that God has taken me. Uh, they told me that we have a serious issue than eating. And I just could laugh. What is that one, my, my dear? Because they love me, and I totally love them. So when I see them laughing, I totally feel very good. Yeah. So I told him, just tell, open and tell me your problem. She, she told me, we use, we use lugs when they, they are in periods. So I took that, uh, that uh, as, a, as a, an item. And I, I started a program that even now, what I what I'll get in the time of fundraising, it will go towards uh, assisting the girls to get the, the sanitary part because it, I want that one to be a continuous program. So that is a big issue. So I did it in uh, in May and I did it in Yodaya at Biwomi Children's Home. That is where I come from. That is near where I come from, Biwomi because Kanyaga is where I come from. Yes. And, uh, and I want to thank my brother, he is a pastor in Udaya, Pastor Masharia, he has stood with me in the, this ministry, and I totally want to appreciate because I've spoken, to, spoken about Udaya. Udaya is a big town and I love that one. So, so, so it is about sanitary towels for girls and, and the pants and underwears for the boys. Yeah. You see, so when you when you pay the school fees and they are fed, there is that issue that is eating them that nobody knows where they are going through. Yeah, so that is the biggest challenge in there about about uh, eating, feeding, clothing, education, mentorship. That is what I do: mentorship and counselling. So this one about the sanitary, it came very late. It came later. And it is very important, even the community. And I would like to talk to, to a woman, because now today it is our day. I want to call ladies, because that, uh, that in initiative, I call it Girls, Girls for Girls, that initiative. Let us come, let us join hands and, uh, and try to help girls. Because when they, 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 are, they are in that state, they don't go to school. They wait until it is through, and they, 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 they don't go to classes. No, it is an initiative that you can buy, you can look for me, buy a, a cotton, buy something, and uh, drop it in our office so that I can be able to distribute. Because I, I wanted, uh, God willing, if, if I get resources, I wanted to, to take that program to a higher level, even to secondary schools. Because in secondary school, they are still helped by the, the teachers and principals. It is a big problem, and I thank our government because they, they, they started that, that uh, there's a program they started. But we pray that they sustain, they cannot be able to do it whole. So we can, uh, whatever the government, our government is doing, they can, uh, we can join us. Even men, they help me so much. Because I, I thought it is girls, but they, they, there's men who came in. Because they are our sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Na mna pia pasta Alice kuna jambo ambalo umeritaja hapo na ni jambo ambalo watu wengi huwa wanajiuliza. Uh, umesema kwamba kwa wale watoto ambao ni mayatima, wale ambao huo koto wa uko, uh, uko katika mita ya mabanda, uko kwenye slums, uh, wakipelekwa katika zile children's home, hawajui majina yao, wanaenda kupewa majina mengine huko, lakini kuna jambo ambalo watu wengi huwa wanajiuliza. Kwa wale watoto ambao labda mtoto wamezaliwa, ametupwa mahali, anachukuliwa na pelekwa kwa makao ya watoto mayatima the children's home aya ikifika ni kujua birthday yake atajua vipi ama ile children's home ndio itaanza ku uh, kufikiria tunaweza tukampa birthday yake ni hii ama inakuwa vipi it is, it's, it is very hard because if you if you think that uh, in the first place you don't know that child mm -hmm. he has just been brought so he does not have a name 
So if he does not, uh, he or she has don't, uh, does not have a name, it is very hard now to know. You cannot know where he comes from. You cannot know where he was born. So the, everything that is done is guess, guesswork because they are, they are given names in the children's home. So about the body, they, the, because even the certificates, they are prepared by, by the, the managers through the, the, the Ministry of uh, Children's Office. Yeah and chief's office, they will totally work together. Because when you, you get a, a shout from the slums or in town, because others are dropped in towns or in estates, you go to the chief, you have to report it to the chief or the, the, the police office. So then you are given authority now to take that shout to the, to the homes. Yeah. Na mshukran sana Pastor Alice kwa jinsi ambavyo tunaendelea na mazungumzo yetu japo kwa sasa anataka nichukue mapumziko mafupi lakini nitakuwa na rejea kwako ili tupate kuendelea na mazungumzo yetu. Na mtazamaji kufikia hapo nachukua mapumziko mafupi tu lakini nitakuwa na rejea baada ya mdosu kwa mrefu usiondoke. Na mkaribu tena mtazamaji hii kiwa ni awamu ya tatu na ya mwisho ya mazungumzo haya ambapo tunazungumza na Pastor Alice leo kiwa ni siku ya kusherekea wanawake uh, kote duniani. Na mkaribu tuendele na mazungumzo yetu. Na Pastor Alice, uh, nikipeni upate kutueleza uh, wakati ambapo unawatembelea wale watoto mayatima kuna wale wasichana ambao wako katika ule umri wa kubalege ama ile adolescent age huwa una je umewahi tenga muda kuzungumza na wao kuhusiana na sasa wameanza uh, kuwa watu wakubwa sasa ha, wametoka katika ile hali ya utoto na wameanza kuingia katika ile hali ya kuwa mwanamke asante sana huwa napatio that uh, that uh, chance na the managers of children's homes and i i, on, I always do it one on one and uh, the other times I call, I call about about four children's homes and uh, the, the, those girls and and I take them for a, a counselling. Yeah, yeah. Na mpia Pastor Alice kwa sasa ngipenda uitizame ile kamera pale na upate kuzungumza na watazamaji wetu uh, kwa wale ambao wangependa uh, kukufikia ama wangependa kukutuma michango yao wanaweza wakakufikia vipi semezana na wao. Uh, asante sana. I am uh, Alice W. Deuri and uh, I, am, I am in Nyeri, that is where I stay. And uh, we are Orphan Leash Network. We have an office in, in Nyeri at Rakere Road. And I, I would like to, to call all the community to join me as, as we, assist, we assist and uh, change their lives and put a smile on the the faces of the orphans and widows in our community, even out of Nyeri. So uh, I would uh, ask all of us, even the, the community, to, to be of any help for the children that are the, the orphans who are at home, shake for a, a neighbor. You, you can assist the neighbors. You can also visit the children's home and you can join us. Together we can be able to transform and change our, com our community. That is, uh, that is Alice Deuri. And I would like to, th to thank all women and I want to, to thank all the, the community, our, our partners. Those I would also like to, to thank all family members and the committee because we work together, even the officials, even my family because they have helped me. I would like to, th to thank my sons, both sons, because they have been of a great help when I'm down. They, they totally encourage me, Mama, continue helping the orphans. And I, when they tell me to continue helping the orphans and the widows, it give me more strength. Though together we can do it. Thank you so much and God bless you. May God bless you also for, for, for 
coming to for for this day it is a big day in my life and i want to thank you all for for visiting me and calling me and uh, and uh, interviewing me today thank you for so much Yeah. Na mnapia nikipenda upate kuwapa nambari yako ya simu kwa wale ambao wangependa kukupigia. Um, Mnaweza kunipata kwa simu yangu ni 0722353845. Yeah and I also have another number 0708382602 you can get me on both lines. Yeah. Na mshukrani sana Pastor Alice kwa kutenga muda wako na kuwa nasi Aa, na ninakutakia kila laheri katika hii shughuli ambayo unajishughulisha nayo ya kuwasaidia wajane na watoto mayatima na pia nakutakia uh, kila laheri leo ikiwa ni siku yetu sisi kama wanawake uh, Mungu akulinde kwa, kwa kila jambo ambalo unalifanya. Naam, nakufikia hapo mtazamaji sina budi ila kuondoka maana yake mudu umenipa kisogo lakini kabla sijaondoka anataka kuchukua fursa hii kuwatambua na kuwapa pongezi wanawake wote leo ikiwa ni siku yetu na waambia happy happy international women's day. Na kwa yule ambaye bado haja subscribe katika channel yetu kumbuka kubonyeza kengele utakayopata hapo ili kila wakati ambapo tunapakia kitu kipya basi unaarifiwa. Na pia semezana nasi kupitia katika mitandao yetu ya kijamii pale kwenye Facebook at @elisamo_etv1 kwenye Twitter at @elisamo_etv na pia kwenye Instagram @elisamo_etv tupatane wakati mwingine kwa maridhia yake Mola kwa heri